I would say so. We'll see. We'll see. Most likely. Most likely. We're going to wrap this up soon. I'm going to get this whole cutscene out of the way. Um, and everything. And then we will uh, carry on next week. Yeah, we, sh we should be able to get it done. Should. Be in the word. Wait, do I want to do this now? Because then I'll have to save them, won't I? Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Hmm. Yeah, all right. I'll get the cutscene out of the way, I guess. I'll, I'll I'll have to do the I'll have to do the whole sequence thing, I suppose, if I do that. But that's fine. I was debating on whether to do it. I'll just get it out of the way. So it will be a a little bit longer of a stream. As long as I don't take too long, that is. And cutscene. Skip. Nope. You screwed up. And the prince is like, oh, I screwed up. So we're going to go through this sequence of nothing but talking. Oh, dear. Oh. Cool, I felt a click there in my arm. Oh. So, um, yeah, I think after Prince of Persia is probably going to be the Wind Waker challenge. Don't know what to do after that though, so we'll 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 we'll, 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 we'll think about it when we think about it. But I um, think I'm probably going to do the Wind Waker challenge after we're done with uh, Prince of Persia's Hands of Time. So that'd be fun. Wind Waker is my favorite Legend of Zelda game, so. I'm up for a bit of a challenge with that game. Nothing. And we'll see how that goes. But that probably won't be for at least a couple of weeks anyway. Two or three weeks, I reckon. And then we'll be able to uh, start a new challenge. I'm just looking at my, uh, my old Arkham Knight poster. The one with Scarecrow on it. it looks really good. Available the 2nd of June 2015. My god, that was three years ago. That's how old the game is. Three years ago, mate. Hashtag Arkham Knight on Twitter. 2015. Three years ago already. Time flies and you realize you've done nothing worthwhile in your life. Sad and depressing. Anyway. Anyway, back to Prince of Persia, because now they stopped talking. I think it's faster to run on the wall. It's kind of weird. He runs. I swear he runs faster on the wall than he does on the ground. Well, I suppose he, he, like, he has to run fast to in, in able to keep himself. On the wall, um, but yeah. This music was always kind of creepy to me. Voices. I don't even know what this room is. It's just like a weird room. But when we get to the bottom, it's a weird, weird, like, kind of like shrine place with like random teleporting doors. Well, not even doors, just like hallways that you go into. Entrances, I suppose, because there's no door on the entrance. Weird. 
I can't remember the pattern though, because there is a pattern, and if you if you get lost, you get teleported back. And I honestly can't remember. I know how you figure it out, but I didn't have my I didn't have my audio on. I, I'll, I'll turn it on, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn it on. Maybe I'll configure it out then. You, you dummy. Grab my grab my remote. I should be able to hear it now. Apologies if it does sound a bit loud, but it it, sh it should be fine. There's literally no music or anything. I'm looking for you. I'm right here. Yeah. Only we could stay here. Sarah. Sarah. Shall we take a bath? What are you talking about? Where are you? Take me in your arms. I don't see you. I don't see you. Where are you? Yeah, I remember how this works now. If you if you if if you hear like trickling water, right, this, is this is getting ridiculous. They don't even, I don't think I don't think they even touch up on what this place is. Who are you talking to? I've been waiting so long. Can you What's she on about? <laughs> well, honestly, I think this is meant to be like in his head or something. Part of me thinks it is. Cuz I think when he wakes up, he's in the catacombs. A path with fair, right? At least I think. Can you hear me? Don't you want to touch me? Okay, this oh, oh. Okay. Things are getting a little bit sexual. Things are getting a little bit sexual there. Yeah, Prince, don't you want to touch your princess? There we go. Bit carried away here. Oh my god, naked! No, I'm not gonna get see her anyway. Yeah, put the dagger down so she can steal it. Again, how did he how did she even get here? That's it. Put the dagger down. That's it. Put the dagger down. Lemon, gigantic bath, mate. Hey, there you go. The little plate, the little thing that goes on top of the analog stick. No offense, fair is all right, but. I don't know. I always, I always preferred the Empress. It's totally not because, uh, because of her huge cleavage. At least I should say I prefer the Empress from the two, from from War of Vin. In Two Thrones, they toned her down. They made her like clearly in War of Vin, they made her pretty sexual, and then in Two Thrones, they were like, nope, too, too, too sexual for this twelve plus game. We're, we're toning her down, and she, she, like they, they, they're like, nope, drop. Pretty much what happened. It's pretty much what happened to Tana. Um, you know, it's pretty much what happened to Tana in Crash Bandicoot. And in, in, instead, Tana just got completely, you know, out the way. I can't, I can't fight you guys. I straight up can't, because Farah kind of took everything from me. But it's lucky that the enemies don't fight me here. But yeah, we'll get the blade. We'll save and then we'll end it there. Uh, now I gotta remember how to do this. Uh, and now I gotta remember how to deal, how to do this. Uh, hmm. I 
I need this for something. No, well, obviously. Uh, probably this, I guess. Uh. Oh, wait, I think I know. Maybe. Gotta do this. And then... That's not removed. I mean, I'm right, but... There we go. Yeah, it's not a super hard puzzle. And now we get the uh, the broken sword in the game. Again, who made this? Who knows? But it's a good job it's here because it destroys sand zombies like nothing. So we don't need, even need the dagger anymore. Well, we can't rewind anyway. So, you know that challenge from before? Yeah. Yeah, this is just the OP sword. I think not every game has it. Two Thrones has an OP sword, I believe. OP... Well, actually, no, I lie. Every game technically has an OP sword, but nowhere near as good as this one. If I remember correctly. Because um, this one just decimates the enemies in one hit. Um, if they don't block, they're dead. But I think in... In War of In and Two Thrones, you get the strongest sword, but it doesn't dissipate... It doesn't, like, destroy the enemies in one hit. It does kill them quicker, but, you know, they take less hits. But, yeah, this is the only game where it's like, yeah, you get this OP sword and they just die in one hit. Right at the end of the game. Yeah, I'm confident we, we should be able to finish this next week. So, I think so. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to end it there. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on the post, I uh, appreciate you dropping a like if you did enjoy it. And... Hopefully we'll be done with this game next Wednesday. So I hope to see you guys then. Join me for the finale of Prince of Persia. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.